Hi everyone, it's Miss Amanda with Farm Friends. Today we're gonna to read Hen's Feathers, along with the help of these girls. Hen's Feathers by Catherine Sully. Hedda and Hilda were sisters, but not from the same clutch of eggs. Hedda was older than Hilda. Hilda had plump, shiny black feathers, sunshine yellow legs, and a beak, and a beautiful red coat. Hedda was dull and brown, but she was very kind and took good care of Hilda. Every morning, long after the rooster had crowed, the hens all waddled out of the hen house looking for their breakfast. Hilda was very popular with the other hens. She was always in the middle of the crowd, talking about this and that. On this particular morning, there was a new hen in the yard. She had fluffy white feathers. Soon, everyone crowded around to meet her. The new hen's name was Chantel. Everyone cooed and clucked. What a pretty name. What's more, Chantel had won a prize at the farm show. Everyone watched to be her friend. Everyone wanted to be her friend. Except Hilda. Hilda sulked. Chantel's prettier than me, grumbled Hilda, and she's more popular. Don't be silly, Hilda, said Hedda. You're just as pretty as Chantel, but in a different way. The next morning, Hedda couldn't find Hilda anywhere. Then she spotted the other hens all crowded around Chantel. She went over to see if Hilda was there. You'll never guess what, Chantel was saying. The fox is back. There was no sign of Hilda. Now Hedda was really worried. Hilda could be in a big trouble if the fox was back. Hedda rushed all around the farmyard looking for Hilda. Have you seen Hilda? She asked the pig, but he was too busy eating to reply. Have you seen Hilda? She asked the farm cat, but she was too rude to even reply. Have you seen Hilda? She asked the rooster. She was around earlier, he crowed, disturbing me while I was preening my feathers. Hedda went back to the farmyard just in time to see Hilda. She had, she had rooster feathers stuck to her head and tail and was strutting around the hen house. The other hens were giggling behind their wings. Even Hedda had to admit that Hilda looked silly. That night in the hen house, Hilda was very angry. I don't know why everyone likes Chantel. Thinks Chantel is so wonderful, she snapped. Hedda looked at her sister. Chantel is a very nice hen, Hilda, said Hedda. Just because her feathers are perfect, grumbled Hilda. The following morning, the hens were all in a flutter. During the night, the fox had been back and eggs were missing. The hens gathered outside the hen house. Hedda looked around. Hilda was missing too. Look over there, called Chantel. She had spotted rooster feathers near a hole in the fence. They crowded around, gasping and worrying. It was clear to everyone the fox had taken Hilda. The hens did their best to comfort Hedda. She was a lovely hen, they clucked. The best sister you could have wished for. Hedda was heartbroken. Just then, Hilda turned up wearing peacock feathers. She looked ridiculous. But this time, no one was laughing. They were too angry. That night in the hen house, Hilda was very upset. I just wanted everyone to notice me, she hiccuped. You don't need all these peacock feathers, Hilda. Hedda clucked gently. We all love you just as you are. Suddenly, they heard scuffling and squawking. Hedda and Hilda rushed out of the hen house to find the fox with Chantel in his mouth. As quick as a flash, Hilda plucked a long peacock feather from her tail and tickled the fox's nose. The fox froze. His nose twitched, his eyes squeezed, shut, and, and ha-choo! Chantel shot from his mouth and escaped. The next morning, the hens gathered to hear about the night's events. Hedda smiled to herself as she spotted Hilda. In the middle of the crowd was her sister with her wing around Chantel. And that's the best use of a peacock feather, I know, chuckled Hilda as she told the story to her crowd of admirers one more time. All the different breeds of hens. The end.
that's all guys thank you for listening you can enjoy the hens for a little more